Hi, this is Dylan Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, I will show you how to import Waypoint ASCII files in GPS Pathfinder Office. You will need a table of coordinates in either a .asc, .csv, .tsv, or .txt format. Most spreadsheet software programs, such as Microsoft Excel, allow you to save as one of these types of files. CSV and text files are the most common, and along with your list of waypoints, you will also need a full license of GPS Pathfinder Office. Let's begin. Okay, to start, I'm going to open up my CSV file. This file contains a description, a latitude, a longitude, and an elevation of some waypoints that I want to navigate to out in the field. You'll see that my Latitude and longitude coordinates are in decimal degrees. We will want to take note of that. So in Pathfinder Office, first thing that we want to check is what style of display our coordinates are going to show up in. By hitting Options and then Style of Display, you'll see down here under Lat Long Format that indeed my format is decimal degrees. If your waypoint coordinates are in decimal degrees, that's what you will want to select. If your waypoint coordinates are in degrees, minutes, seconds, or degrees and minutes, you'll want to select that, or else your waypoints won't come in correctly. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to click File, Waypoints, and then I'm going to import an ASCII under import ASCII waypoint file I'm going to select the waypoint coordinates that are stored in a CSV they can also be stored in an ASCII file a TSV or a text file mine is located on my desktop I called it waypoints.csv. I'm going to open it. And you'll see there, I wasn't able to open up my file because it was currently opened in Excel. There's that error I got again. So I'm going to make sure to close my Excel file or my Excel window and then try again. there we go you'll see a preview of your file again that's my description separated by a comma the latitude the longitude and my elevation or my z value I'm going to choose an output so this is the folder that I want to output my waypoint file to I'm just going to throw it on my desktop and call it waypoints hit OK and then now I want to configure my settings for the input file format this will depend on what format your CSV text or ASCII file is formatted in so I have a description a latitude or a northing a longitude or an easting and then an elevation or a Z value so you will match that up with the options that you have in this list. I have a description, a northing, an easting, and a Z value. If you're unsure which one to select, click the help button. And under input file format, you'll get a description of what each represents. For fields separated by, I'm going to choose comma because that's what my fields are separated by. Your other selections are semicolon, space, or tab. Just depends on what format your input file um, or how the input file is formatted. For my next setting, I have do not import rows starting with. 
For this setting, you can enter a string that appears at any row that you do not want to import. For example, enter comment if you do not want to import any comments from the file. If a line in the input file starts with the selected string, it is not imported. I'm going to leave this one blank because I want all of my rows imported. For start import row, this is the row in your file that will begin to be imported. Since I want all of my rows imported, I'm going to start my import at row 1. And then for coordinate system of the input file, you will want to configure that to, the, to what the coordinates coordinate system is set. So my input file has coordinates in latitude, longitude, and WGS 1984 datum. If your coordinates are from a UTM or something other than latitude, longitude, you will want to specify that. You can see here that you do have, for example, a UTM coordinate system to import your file as. And once your settings are all set, you can hit OK. And you'll get a message that indicates the number of waypoints that were imported from your import location. I will hit OK. And there are my, my waypoints located on my map. And then you will get a waypoint properties window. You can select each individual waypoint get its latitude, longitude, altitude, and then you can go in and edit any of these if you need to by hitting the edit button. So if you need to edit say the latitude or the longitude you can go in and do that and then hit save. And now the last thing that we need to do is just transfer this waypoint file over to your device. So I'm going to hit close and then I'm going to go into utilities data transfer. It'll ask if I want to save. Since I might have made some edits, I'll just hit yes. And then the data transfer window will open. We're going to want to make sure that we connect to our GIS data logger on Windows Mobile. And then click the connect button. And then once we're connected, you'll see the green check mark you'll want to make sure that you click the send tab and we'll add that waypoint file you'll want to make sure that you choose .wpt for the objects of type then it will be visible in your list we'll select it should be added to your files to send and then I'm going to hit transfer all and then the transfer is complete. And that concludes our tech talk on how to import an ASCII waypoint file into GPS Pathfinder Office. We hope you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.